Today's a good day. I've got some amazing ingredients that I absolutely love and I'm aiming to put together a spectacular dish. The best bit is, I haven't got to worry about any wastage at all. Ebbers are going to come in here and cook up some amazing things with my scraps. All right, Baz, what are you doing? One big chunk of this dish is cauliflower based. So he's going to roast off, toss those in a undouya sauce. And I take it you're not using the uh, the root and the stem and the. I'm the... barely using cauliflower, mate. Oh, it's poor Ebbers is already sweating. <laughs> So, poor old Ebers didn't find out we were doing this video until just now. <laughs> so he's seen these ingredients and these scraps for the first time. And once Baz has generated a nice little pile, he's going to jump in the kitchen and see if he can cook something up. That's quite a lot of waste, but that's all I need for this dish. There you go, Ebers, challenge number one. <laughs> so what are you doing with that cauliflower? Olive oil, salt, pepper, oven, 15 minutes. Nice. Let's move on to the sea bass. How comfortable are you? with sea bass? Um, I have filleted sea bass at home, but not one this big. So I'm a little bit more daunted by, by this one. I can take the head off in one go and kind of swipe down the middle. This is the moment I'm outside of my comfort zone. Yeah, I'm, I'm out of my comfort zone with what Baz is doing, let alone with what Ben's got to do in a bit. <laughs> oh, challenge on, Ebbers. <laughs> <laughs> So that, that bit in my household is always waste. I know you can make that into stocks, but... Um, now, carving down the spine and then cut the back bit off. Scraping on the bone so you minimise so any then wastage. I head. can then go in from this side to cut the rest off. Lovely stuff, Basil. So much of this comes down to confidence, doesn't it? I think it is, it is about confidence, which you get the more you do it, but it's all also not about blind confidence. If you're unsure, take your time and do it slowly, like Baz is, so you actually don't leave too much fish on the bone. Alternatively, cook it on the bone. Yeah. The other option, of course, is ask your fish monkey to do that for oh. you. This bit, I know I'm butchering now. So that is a chunky fillet, but not a very good one because I've left all the belly here. But luckily, for this dish, I'm gonna trim it to make it a little chefy. So the kind angle. of perfect portion you'd expect on a plate at a restaurant. Yeah, so I'm basically, that's my portion on a plate. Lovely. Well, nice. this bit is abs delicious, but I don't need it. Ebbers, oh, you've got some real food. Prime cuts there. <laughs> so far, he's been very generous. Fish going into the fridge. Baz, what are you cooking? I have a cauliflower and undouya base. Then I've got like a posh chickpea salad around the outside and then a salsa verde over my crispy fish. It sounds spectacular. Sounds no great. Pressure. So you're not cooking with the aim of making waste, are you? No, like this is more, this is more familiar of like when I'm cooking from a recipe. I'm gonna go all out and give that a go. And in doing so, you're not using a whole cucumber. It's gonna ask you for, to use one third of it. So, is he going to use the ribbons or the ribbons? Oh, oh. Ebbers! Lucky you! <laughs> That's nice. That's ribbons. Are you yeah. getting any inspiration yet? I don't think I'm going to cook a dish as such. I think I'm going to try and take so many of Barry's, you know, head and tips and stuff and turn something fun from it. And because I want this to be a, uh, a relatively dry salad, I'm getting rid of the wet bit as well. Oh, Ebbers, lucky you. For a midweek meal at home, I would never do this. It's only because I'm trying to make a restaurant looking dish. You go that extra step. But the thing is, if this was prepared in a restaurant, they would have other dishes on the menu that would use up these types of bits, wouldn't they? Good restaurants would, but there is a large percentage of food waste even in the hospitality industry. Go on, Baz. Right. You know you want to get the wet bits yeah, out. You're yeah, you're going to you're get gonna the have wet to canoe them. Tomatoes, notoriously soggy, wet things. Let's get rid of that bit. Let's do some canoeing. I don't want the stalks of those. So what have you got there? Parsley, coriander and some mint. Oh, don't you dare give him a sprig. Only give him the stems. <laughs> do you reckon you've got enough to get going? Some stuff. Okay, get in there, Ebbers. Off you go. Tag in. Right, this is where it gets interesting. And I'm going to start with something very simple but very predictable. I'm going to infuse some alcohol. <laughs> of course, yes. Of course, yes. <laughs> is he going gin? No, this is vodka. I'm literally just going to put some cucumber in, 
to infuse some vodka for a drink later on. A little bit of agitation and then a lot of waiting. Cauliflower's looking lovely and toasted. Baz, remember, if you burn or mess anything up, Make you can give it to Ben. <laughs> Not fixing all of his problems. <laughs> Ebers, what are you doing with your remaining peel? Um, I'm going to make a very simple sauce to go over something like fish, and I'm going to put the cucumber through it. So think like a white wine beurre blanc, Ooh. and when it's finished, you blend cucumber peel into it. It gives it colour, gives it a little bit of freshness, and works wonderfully uh, over fish. Oh, that bit's not very nice, is it? No, done that bit. I'm done that bit. That looks horrible. There you go. Excellent. <laughs> I love that. So, Ebers, you've now got shallot tips and a couple of the sheaths. <laughs> yeah, not a huge amount to work with, and I'm going to do a very, very small volume, but basically sweat off some shallots, um, some garlic, herb stalks maybe, and then basically reduce down a lot of wine. And then once it's reduced down, add in some cream. Now, that sounds like a leftover that you're not used to working with, Ben. What? Le leftover wine. <laughs> Can I have a little knob? What Ben's doing now is just nicking food just from nicking that Barry hasn't used were yet. Were you planning to use all of your garlic? So I'd like there? to stress, I'm not going to make things solely from Barry's leftovers. What I'm going to do is take Barry's leftovers and upcycle them. So I will be adding in other things from the store cupboard, from the larder. It's not solely what Barry's throwing away, but that is going to be the inspiration that starts the idea. So now, I've got these amazing, beautiful chickpeas, but I don't need all the aquafaba that goes with it. So. Aquafaba is going to be Ben's problem. So you're giving him... Sorry. Like... The aquafaba is going to be Ben's opportunity. That's yes. more like it. P-M-A. Ebers is crowning. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no! So I've taken the offcuts of Barry's fish, two of the pieces. I have scored the skin and just put it into a, a warm space to begin to dry the skin out. The other half, I've skinned and we've got just a dice of fish that can be a little cured element later. In there you've got a lovely bit of fleshy fish but it's mostly the flavour from the head that we want in that instance. Here, because of the way it was prepared and it's not an easy thing to do, is all useful meat. So I'm just going to cut off as much meat as possible and then save the rest for stock. Barry mentioned it, I'm going to do it. They make sure that absolutely nothing goes to waste. A spoon, scraping it, will literally get the rest off. This is how they make like chicken kiefs, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, not from the not from a sea bass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was such a you thing to say. If you're enjoying this, there are some small things you can do that make a big difference to us. Like the video, subscribe if you aren't, click the notification bell, and select all. Thanks. Look, look, he's looking at, look at what he's doing. He's clearing up after. What him. are you doing? Just. Making stock. Wait a minute, where'd my other shallot go? Oh yeah, I did just use you that. You cheeky little, I'm nicking. So now, salsa verde, shallot, mint leaves, coriander leaves, olives, capers, pickles. Basically anything green. It's green sauce, isn't it? That's what it means. <laughs> Everything green, chuck it in, blend it up with some oil, salsa verde. I've got my ciabatta, which we're gonna rip up. I need one, came as a two. Excellent. Oh. Ebers is stalking. <laughs> so I'm making fish cakes. Oh. Oh. Spooned fish off of Barry's leftover carcass, herby breadcrumbs and smash. If they were made out of uh, alligator, do you know what they'd be? Mm -hmm. Croquettas. <laughs> you are on fire today, not in a good way. <laughs> oh, lovely. Ooh. That's what happens when you get in a hot bath. Ooh. And then, yeah. yeah, you swell up and your belly goes. Your belly goes. There's the other thing that you also have to do simultaneously, don't yeah, you? Yes, so you have to lift up the. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's that horrible moment where you've got to let go. <laughs> so in that pan, oil, really hot, fish, skin side down. Then cook it till it goes crispy on the, on the skin. Then in with a butt ton of butter. Fish out, bread in. So fishy bread. Brown butter fishy bread. I'm seeing a lot of good individual bits off of Barry. Ebers, how are you getting on, mate? Okay, so the soup's bubbling away, the dressing's done. 
I'm thinking these cauliflower stalks. I've separated the green bits from the stalky bits and treat it just as you would pak choy bok choy, which you'd pay quite a premium for in the supermarket. But essentially, very similar family and it's gonna do a similar job. But I wanna start off by cooking the stalk, sauteed or stir fried in some sesame oil. And then at the end, we'll finish it with the leaves just last minute uh, with a little bit of soy, a little bit of mirin, uh, and possibly some oyster sauce. Covered ingredients that just go, wow, we've got ourselves some stir fried greens. So you're essentially just serving lots of small plates. I think I'm doing three dishes. Three dishes? Three dishes. Which was not my plan at the start. I was going to do lots of different bits, but I think I'm going to put them together into three dishes. Oh, yes! yes! Thinking on the fly. And maybe yes! a drink. And, and a drink. drink. Okay. Oh, it's you're now, going it's, down. It's, yeah. it's, it wasn't a competition, but now it is. Now it is. <laughs> <laughs> So cauliflower stalks, there are lots of things you can do with these. Alternatively, you can do a little stocky, soupy kind of thing, and that's what I'm going to do with the fish stock. What are you doing? Not sure yet. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Everything all right, Ebbers? Yep. That wasn't the most confident of answers. I'll be honest, this entire challenge is uncomfortable to me, because normally when we cook, there is a plan. What I'm doing is trying to do about nine, ten different things without a plan, which means it feels messier than I would like. But that's because I'm kind of just making stuff up as I go along. It's plating time. Come on, Baz. Some would argue that this is Barry's strength. Oh, no. And this is going to be restaurant quality as well. Shut up. That's what I heard, actually. I do feel like I heard that, that this is going to be restaurant quality. Multiple times. Yeah. Now, to be fair to Barry, he didn't tell us what kind of restaurant. It's true. Yeah. It could be a diner. Yep. It could be a two Michelin star. It looks like one with a two star health and safety rating. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely mm. on the lower end of the hygiene rating. 100%. Yeah. Hours away from being shut down. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there's the licking yeah. of the fingers to confirm it. <laughs> Has Ebbers was supposed to be working with the scrap heap. <laughs> Christ. I was really confident until the, until the plating. Oh, no. wrong. Salsa turday. <laughs> <laughs> Ebbers, how are you getting on, mate? So, almost there. I've taken the beurre blanc and I've blended it with the cucumber. And that's actually going to form the base to the dish. Wow. <laughs> this is going to look great, isn't it's it? Really <laughs> it's going to be really good. Which we then have three fish cakes that'll just sit on top. <laughs> so just to confirm, guys. <laughs> He's purposely not turning around. <laughs> dish number one. Dish number two. Oh. Oh. Dish number three. Little gazpacho over ice. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. <laughs> OK, next up is cucumber vodka to cure the oh, fish. It looks really good. So the last dish... Oh, he's got another one, mate. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think four was enough, so I've done five, which wasn't my plan, but these things happen. So fish stock, which I cooked the cauliflower stalks in. The left of the beurre blanc that I made that I didn't use, so it's got a bit he's, creaminess to it. He's using his leftovers. He's using the scraps of your yeah. scraps, of his scraps. And a little bit of enduya. Not a lot, because I want the fish flavour to be the prominent thing. Just a little bit of enduya. Blend that up and we'll serve that with our herby breadcrumbs. That looks restaurant quality. Oh, he's even put a separation between them. Why does mine look like a leftover plate? Right, let's get in. I'm very excited for it. Cheers, boys. Yeah, I think Cheers. Sp spoon's a good vehicle to get a bit of everything. Mm. And my salsa verde is spectacular. As is the crunch and the croutons. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wait, that's fantastic. Mm. So mm. many good flavours going on there. It's really good. That's really good. It's all nicely prepared. Lots of lovely flavours. Very inviting. Baz, that's superb. But it was always supposed to be. 
Yeah, like that. Yeah. The brief was, cook a delicious dish and don't worry about any leftovers because they'll be handled. <laughs> I think they were handled. <laughs> yeah. I did some stuff with it. It's a lot, it's a lot of fishy stuff. Dig in. Cucumber infused vodka cured sea bass. Oh. Oh, yes. But it was zing in it. It's got a real zing to that. Oh, oh the vodka. That's lovely, isn't it's it? It's so good. You can sort yourself out. <laughs> Wash it down with a bit of that. No, that's a much better way of doing it. Well done, you. Oh, wow. Whoa. I was not expecting it Whoa. to taste like that. Oh. Mind the brain freeze, but cucumber middles, tomato wow. middles. Wow. That is really cucumbery, yes. isn't it? And very vinegary in the best way. A little bit of sherry vinegar, olive yeah. oil. Interesting. Lots of herbs. Oh, this is quite good as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Cauliflower leaves and cauliflower stalks. Mm. You compared them to bok choy, pak choy. It's bang on. But the seasoning, what did, what, that's mirin. Oh, sesame, that's... sesame oil, mirin, soy. When you get a bit mm. with loads mm. of the seasoning. Mm. Yeah. That is, could take more. Stunning, it doesn't taste like Cauliflower. No, it doesn't tell, does it? That's so, the soup. We've got hot gazpacho. Which is fish stock and cauliflower stalk, basically. A little bit of indio at the end. That is amazing. Oh. That is silk. And it's it? the stalk that would normally end up in the bin. Oh, it's got a really a real that depth of flavour from that fish stock. Yeah, yeah. Fish cake. And then fish cakes, pretty classic. I love chicken Kiev. <laughs> Zingtastic. Ooh. Oh, I wasn't expecting that, but mate, and a very simple white wine yeah, sauce. Yeah, yeah. What a job! Amazing. What a job! I think the most impressive thing about that is you wouldn't look or taste any of those dishes and think that they were made with leftovers and scraps. No, it's a little bit fiddly to do any of those things mm. just with a little mm. bit of leftover. What I would actually say: infuse your vodka or gin, and then you've got it for time to come. Make some fish cakes, but don't cook them off. Freeze them. And then when you've got mm. eight, you've got enough for a meal because mm. two fish cakes isn't really going to get you very far. Mm. Each time you can kind of make in batch once you've collected enough. Mm -hmm. We had a little chat off camera. You're not going to believe this, but Barry's dish tasted so good. We're going to put it on Sidekick for you guys to get the recipe and cook. I, I don't mean that disrespectfully. No. But the food team are going to take that, turn it into a full recipe and you can go and cook it at home. And I would encourage you to do so because that is fantastic. Well, it Let's turn it into a competition. Cook it up, get the recipe on Psychic, <laughs> cook it up no, at home no. and make show us no. how it should no. be plated. Yes, no. great idea. And we will hand out a plating badge to the best one. <laughs>